use bar models to represent a variety of addition and subtraction facts. Okay? Bar models, boys and girls, are these things with the boxes, okay? They call them bars instead of boxes, okay? Like little blocks almost, okay? Sound good? All right. Um, here is our story for today. We're going to use this in the first bar model to show the problem, okay? And then we will write the number sentence to solve the problem. Okay, I'm going to say a name. It's going to be a name in our class because that's what it says on here. You don't need to make it a big deal, okay? Haley has five pennies in her pocket and seven pennies in her wallet. How many pennies does she have? Okay, Haley has five pennies in her pocket. Where do you think that number is going to go? In the smaller bar, right? The smaller bar. Okay. She has seven pennies in her wallet. Is seven bigger than five? Yes. Is the second bar bigger than the, the, uh, the bar that number five is in? Yes. Yeah, it's a little bigger, isn't it? Yeah. So seven will go here. Okay. Now, the question said, how many pennies does she have? What do you think? Is that yours? What do you tell Okay. So it says, how many pennies does she have? What are we doing, boys and girls? Adding. Adding. So let's write our numbers on the number sentence. Five plus seven. Okay. Five plus seven. Now we don't have the answer yet, so we can't put it under the bar for them. Do you see this black line? Okay, they have two small bars, okay? Just say those bars are being added together, and then this big line means, so when you do put them together, what's the answer? Okay? What is five plus seven? Everyone? Twelve. Wow. Okay, so we're going to put 12 under the bar because 5 and 7 is 12. We're going to write 12 as the answer. And then you also will have 12 pennies being your, uh, what you need to have at the end, okay? Yep, they're making you write the answer a lot of times, aren't they? Okay, yeah. here's the next one. Are you ready? Blake has 12 pennies in his bank. He gives five pennies to his sister. How many pennies does he have now? Okay, boys and girls, we have to do this a little differently. Okay? Yes, he gave some away, so you know this is subtraction, right? Okay. However, the bar is not going to be like what you did just now, okay? Because the biggest number has to be on the bottom down here. So how many pennies did he start out with? Twelve. Twelve. Guys, that twelve is has to still go down here, okay? The big number doesn't go in the boxes. The big number is going to be on the outside, on the bottom, as a whole. Okay? All right. Now, then what did he do, boys and girls? He gave away five. Five will still need to be here. That's a smaller number, okay? We are going to be doing 12 minus five, right? Okay. And boys and girls, if you know this up here, this should be a related fact, right? This should be related. Are they all the same numbers, basically? 
so what should the answer be? Seven. What should go in this box up here? Seven. And what should go here? Seven. Okay. Yeah, it may kind of give you the answer. Okay, boys and girls, next page. Flip it over. You can use bar models to show problems. Let's read this problem right here. Okay, I guess we are not where I'm at. Are we up here? You can. I just read I just read those directions. You can use the bar model to show the problem. I want you to read the problem now.
raisin bagels. How many more plain bagels and raisin bagels did he buy? Is this going to be addition or subtraction? Addition. Subtraction. Subtraction. Okay. Anthony, why do you say subtraction? To say how many more bagels. Bingo. How many more? Bingo. Guys, it says how many more. What did I say how many more was? Subtraction. Subtraction word. Come on, you got to pick those out in those questions. Okay? It is a subtraction word. Not only that, but if you look at your bar model, yep. does it give you the two small numbers or does it give you a big number? Big number. It gives you a big number, a whole. So let's write our number sentence. What am I going to write? Okay, because when we subtract, we start with the big number, right? Minus. 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 Nine. Okay, that's what we have to find out. I don't care if you have to use your fingers, your number chart. How can we find nine? Or how can we find the answer? Fifteen minus nine. What is it, Grayson? Do you guys agree? Yes. Okay, so you need to make a six right here. Eyes up here. Six right here for your bar model. Okay, remember how I like sixes, not with tails. Six as your answer, and then six after the plain bagels too. Why is your six on here the bar model symbol? Because I wrote it multiple times. Yeah, after this. Okay. On your own, boys and girls. How about this? I will let you do this with a partner. Okay? You have to decide whether or not it is addition or subtraction. Okay? We will do, let's see, the hot problem, and then the homework will just be the on your own. Does that work? Okay, so boys and girls, let's look at this real quick before we start. It says, use the information in the table to solve. Write or draw to explain. Jenna put all of the roses and all of the tulips into a vase. Look up here. Look at all of the roses, all of the tulips. How many flowers did she put into the vase? You guys are deciding, are you adding, subtracting, and then find the answer? I'm not giving it to you, okay? All Hold on. Together? Number six. Number six, hot problem. Four of the daisies are white. The other daisies are yellow. How many daisies are yellow? Okay, guys, how many daisies are there? There are 11 daisies. Four of them are white. So if we did minus four, so we know that the rest of them have to be yellow. Okay, 11 minus four. 11 minus four white ones. Okay, so what is 11 minus four, boys and girls? Seven. Seven. So how many daisies are yellow? Seven. Seven. 